It's not the full remake fans have been wanting, but Final Fantasy VII is coming to PlayStation 4. It will apparently be a port of the PC version of the game, though little else is known regarding trophies or if any other upgrades or additions will be applied. The game will be available Spring 2015. Now, when news first broke of this, I wasn't at home watching the PlayStation experience or anything like that. I found out when I was over helping record some stuff for Phantom Knight. And it's like, oh, Final Fantasy VII's come to PlayStation 4. What? They're finally doing the remake or remastering after all these years? And then upon further looking or investigating, it's not. They're just going to port over the PC version. This is a bunch of bullcrap. Yes, you heard that right, bullcrap, because I'm trying to cut back on my language for these shows. Otherwise, I would be ripping Square Enix a new one, as far as what I think about this. For years, fans have been asking, begging, bugging, wanting a remake, a reboot, any kind of updated Final Fantasy VII. More, more or less along the lines of a looking graphically like the Final Fantasy VII Advent Children movie that was released. Now, of course, they could have had many, many years to work on this project of remaking Final Fantasy VII. But no, 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 no. No, one idiot over at Square Enix said that they would never, ever have any kind of remake or remastering until a Final Fantasy game sells and becomes, I think it's both sells and become as popular as Final Fantasy VII. The bad thing about that is they already had something. It was called Final Fantasy X. I, I, I just shake my head at the stupidity Square Enix has at not realizing how much money they could be making with a reboot, remastering, remake of Final Fantasy VII. Fans would pay an arm and a leg for even like a collection. Even like one of these collections, you could include the original, you could include the original Final Fantasy VII as maybe a download. You could include the remake, remaster, you could include, I guess, a, a PlayStation 4 version of the PSP game that came out, the PS2 version of the game, too, the Dirge of Severus, and then I think the PS, PSP version is like a, I forgot what the name of that one was, but you could include those two games, and you could also include the Advent Children Uncut Blu-ray as well. It could package this all together into one, you know, a little collection pack that They've been doing for a while now for PlayStation 3 games like the Tales of Symphonia collection, uh, the like Assassin's Creed uh, collections that they have with like three Assassin's Creed games. They could do this type of stuff for not only Final Fantasy VII, but they could even be doing this type of stuff for maybe some of the older Final Fantasy games. Heck, there's an idea right there. Bundle Final Fantasy VII a remake with downloads for the Final Fantasy VIII and IX. And then it includes six as well. But no, 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 no. Square Enix doesn't listen to their fans. Of course they don't. No, they're 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 too much of a a holes to listen to the fans. So, for once, Square Enix should grow a pair of balls and listen to the fans and give us what we want as far as the Final Fantasy VII game. Because then they would really be making money instead of wasting time on crap sequels that nobody wanted. Or needed. Freaking Final Fantasy 13 Lightning Returns and 13 2 crap. 